Hi, this is IQQ with another video review. Today I'll be fi uh, finishing up my uh, Atom D510 MO uh, series of uh, tests and videos and all that stuff. Uh, so let's get on with the show. Okay, here we have. I'll try to put it down nicely. The D510 MO dual core Atom processor. Um, this guy runs, I think, at 1.16. Six six, uh, I believe I'm not mistaken. Um, so let's go over the features quickly. It has a VGA port, the PS2 mouse port. Very not, uh, for those uh, legacy uh, mice, if you have any legacy mice still, <laughs> which you should not have at this point of stage in time. Um, four USB uh, two ports, not USB three. Gigabyte LAN. Um, Gigabit LAN, Gigabyte LAN, um, six uh, channel audio, and uh, mini PCIe, two slots, DDR2, uh, fanless uh, uh, package, CPU, GPU package, uh, and of course ATX power supply. Notice there's no there's no additional uh, four pin uh, thing. Uh, uh, socket for the power because after all this is a low powered board and of course the infamous PCI uh, slot and if you look over here this brown thing here this is a USB um, uh, what you got that? USB uh, uh, pin arrangement for uh, Intel's VEU SDD uh, uh, hard drives um, I think the value series is only four gigs. They have a special pin at the back. You just slide it in. Uh, the pin uh, socket at the back, which you slide it in, and theoretically you can use it as that. Okay. Um, oh, an interesting feature about the motherboard is the BIOS setup. If you set the BIOS uh, pin to here, every time you boot, it will go straight away, straight away into the BIOS setup screen. Put it back here. And it just boots normally, and then you have to press a, a keyboard key, shortcut key to get into the BIOS setup. So you know, in case your keyboard is not working or you can't get the timing right, you just plug it in there, and you straight away go to the BIOS setup. At least that's what I that's what happened in the 410 PT uh, motherboard. I'm sure it's the same thing here. Um, here's the uh, pins for the LED uh, status for if you put in a um, uh, mini PCIe uh, uh, Wi-Fi uh, card, but for me, I would rather put in a uh, HD decoder card. But here's the pins for that, and here is a fan pin. Fan pins in case you really do need to cool something on the motherboard. Uh, two SATA, and uh, yep, that's about it. Okay, so let me tell you what I like and I didn't like about the board in terms of uh, in terms of hardware, uh, in terms of the board's hardware. Quickly. Because you know we only got 10 minutes on the uh, YouTube. So anyway, and um, what I liked about the board is it came with a mini PCIe. All right, so I can stick in a broadcast uh, Broadcom Crystal HD decoder. So if I really want to buy a Blu-ray uh, Blu-ray uh, uh, play, uh, drive to play Blu-ray discs, right? I can plug in that card. Buy the card. It's only about 20 years old. Buy the card, plug it in, and I'll be able to play Blu-ray. Um, it has two. Uh, six uh, DDR2 667 uh, megahertz slots, so you know, big improvement over the one. Um, uh, there's not really much to say. Oh yeah, passive. The pa uh, the cooling is now passive, which is nice. Um, heat never gets above 50 degrees Celsius, even when I'm stressing the uh, GPU and CPU. Thanks to the uh, uh, Pine Trail, uh, well, the new uh, format which Intel seems to like to uh, do now, which uh, is similar to the AMD Fusion. Where they stuck the GPU uh, 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 processor onto the same die as the um, dual core processor, so you know there's two cores sitting on one die, which is here, and of course the manufacturer of the new 40 m m 40 nanometer, I think, millimeter, mm, uh, I can't remember. You know, not it's not in this point. In this case, it's not much point because here comes the bad news. Um, the bad news is. This guy does not perform that much better compared to the a Atom um, 330, the first uh, dual-core Atom. 
is almost the same performance. Uh, maybe th this guy is 10% to 20% faster, but you know, the scores on the first Atom do call were not that great, so 10 of uh, 10 to 20% better does not equal to that much, you know. Uh, zero, uh, was it 10 times 0 is still 0, so this is practically nothing, but the thermal properties have improved considerably, you don't need a fan, so that's the plus side of it. Um, another negative is they only gave you two SATA ports, which is a rip-off. Uh, another thing, thing is they left that damn PCI slot here. They could have replaced it and put a um, PCIe uh, times 1 slot or a PCIe times 4 slot, you know. Um, at least we have some options to upgrade to newer graphic cards or some other uh, some of the newer hardware that comes out in PCI 1 and PCI 4 formats or even a PCI 8 then we can have a uh, extremely low end uh, graphic card to assist um, another uh, atom in there. and another thing of course that annoys me is um, they didn't give a DVI uh, uh, slot socket so you know, you only got this lousy VGA one here. Um, and that's about it. Uh, so what I think about the motherboard is if you're building a HTC a HTPC, right? Home theater to PC, um, this board is pretty much suitable if you're not intending to play play Blu ray. You know, out of the box you're not you're not intending to play Blu ray movies on it. It is uh, very acceptable in terms of performance. Um, if you want to play Blu-ray movies on it, you get the Broadcom Crystal HD uh, Mini PCIe decoder card. You slot that sucker in, and Blu-ray and any HD content, any HD format will be able to be played on hardware by that card, which will go here. Um, if you want to play, if you want a mid-range uh, Mini ITX motherboard, right? You should go for the uh, Nvidia Ion, uh, the first one, not not the second one. Apparently, this uh, Ion 2, they have two versions. One is a butchered butchered uh, version of the first Ion, which I think they have devoted, uh, they clocked it, and then they undervoted it. Performance scores were quite low compared to the original Ion. Then they have a second one, which is also apparently, some people say about maybe 10% uh, faster. And, um, and that 10%, like I said, 10% of n almost nothing is nothing still. I mean, but the Ion is a lot better than this, so that 10% does go a long way in terms of gaming. Uh, my theory between the the two versions of the Ion 2 is they are not going to make any more of the first version of the Ion, and then uh, in order to make sure there is a difference, they kind of took one version, they kind of bastardized it, and then the other version, you know, they left it the way it is. Uh, okay, um, and then if you want high-end mini ITX motherboard, uh, you should go look at the uh, JNW motherboard series. They have a mini ITX motherboard that supports the AM2 uh, processors and AM3 processors. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure if they, they can support AM3 processors, but they definitely can support AM2 processors. Um, it has a 780G uh, chipset on it, uh, PCI uh, E uh, times 16 slot, so you can definitely put a graphic card in it. Um, I'm not mistaken, though, the processors which you can stick on that motherboard are limited to 65 uh, watts pr uh, uh, power processors, you know. Uh, they can't go any higher than that. So, uh, anything above 65 watts, you know, you can't stick it in there. Uh, that's about it. So, what I think about this compared to the last, uh, if you were to upgrade from the last two core atom to this, um, HD playback might be a little bit better, I'm not too sure. Um, gaming is a hit and miss, as you can see in my uh, Soulstorm, uh, apparently it was more of a miss because of some sort of refresh glitch at a uh, full resolution. Um, the board is low powered, I think it overall it still has the same uh, power requirements as the original Atom, um, which was around uh, 48 watts for me, I think. I don't know, I have to check. Um, I haven't got my mini ITX casing, I'm getting it this weekend, so I have a kilowatt plug, I will plug in the board, plug in the RAM, plug in the hard drive, no DVD-ROM, just the hard drive, and I'll be uh, using PC Mark to benchmark it, to stress it out, and then I'll see how much watts it uh, will suck in. Okay, so this is IQQ, signing off.